I was probably about four or five years old. My father was really big into sports, so he'd always bring us to the Olin Center and kind of do his thing and leave us relatively unsupervised. And uh, I remember being there with my brother. I don't know where my younger sister was. Anyway, so I was about four or five. He'd be six or seven. And if you've been in Antigonish long enough, you'll remember um, on the side of the football field, between the football field and the, the inn or the boom field, there was a big boulder. We always used to try to climb up on it, and I could never do it. Well, one day, I did manage to do it. So I'm up on top of the boulder, and that was great. And we were playing there, and we were king of the castle, and we were doing all this. And then it was time to go. So my brother hopped down, and then I realized, holy shit, <laughs> I'm up really high. And I froze, and I got stuck up there. And then these uh, two, two men from the Cody came over. And at that time, Cody was much smaller. So seeing um, you know, men and women from Bangladesh or Nepal was much rarer and, um, and still very strange. Right? So uh, anyway, these two men came over. And by this time, I think I was crying. <laughs> And, uh, and the man, you know, little girl, you know, what can I do? And I was terrified, you know, this man who, you know, smelled strangely, who looked strange to me, and uh, he put his, you know, arms up, and he helped me down. And, and his pinky finger just felt very strange. And I said, what's, what's wrong with your finger? You know, by this time I'm down on the ground, I'm safe, and now I'm distracted. And, and he showed me, and his little finger had no bones. Um, something had happened back in his home country. I forget what he told me. Um, it, you know, trying not to make it sound scary, but uh, yeah, he just had this rubbery finger. Mm -hmm.